Hey everyone, Lieutenant Savala Ridge. I'm pretty sick and tired of ignorance and people masquerading as teachers and educators, so this is when the professor has to take over. Let's go ahead and get started. Folks, if you've been paying attention lately, there's a young man who was kicked out of class for wearing a Gadsden flag patch. And uh, according to his little, probably millennial little teacher, got kicked out of class and was told that his Gadsden flag, which is proudly displayed right behind me, was a symbol of racism. Well, here's the deal. There's such a desert of knowledge, especially when it comes to history out there. I'm a former public school teacher. You know, I've, I've taught in a couple of states. I've taught public high school. And I've taught at the collegiate level as well. So I understand a little bit about history. Right? My background is qualifications for teaching history is I was an adjunct professor at a community college in Tennessee. Uh, I'm one of these guys that understands the importance of history. I'm not a revisionist historian. And the importance of history is, is that we learn what people that came before us did, whether it was right or wrong, and then we learn how to apply those lessons to our lives. My sign off line in every video is the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. Some people don't understand what that means. What that means is we have to learn from those that came before us and we have to learn the lessons so we can apply them to our lives, so we can live better lives, so that we can live uh, in this country and be better people and use this vessel. If you're aware of this incident, you'll know that a, a young man was kicked out of a class for wearing a Gadsden flag patch on his backpack and his idiot teacher told him that it, he had to remove it and if he didn't remove it he couldn't come back from class. Problem being that it was a symbol of racism. Folks, at no time in the history of this country has a Gadsden flag been used as a symbol of racism. It was on by Christopher Gadsden and it was literally designed with a timber rattlesnake on it to say as a warning to Britain not to violate the liberties of the Americans. That's literally why it was designed. If you look at the, at the creature on the flag, it's a timber rattler. And you can clearly see right here, there's a distinct thing, and we got plenty of them up here in the mountains, and we got plenty of them all across the eastern United States. Timber rattlesnake is huge, but it's also very docile. It's a creature that isn't provoked to violence. You literally have to step on them for them to bite you. But here's the cool thing about the timber rattler. If it's attacked, it's not gonna stop defending itself ever. It's never gonna break off an attack. It's never going to stop until whatever caused it to strike them is no longer a threat. Folks, that's why our founders won this flag. That's why our founders believed in the Gadsden flag. And the phrase, don't tread on me, means don't tread on our liberties. And our liberties in this country, in case the leftist educators in this country don't understand that, the liberties are free speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom to assemble, freedom to petition our government for redress of grievances, the right to keep and bear arms, and all of the rest of the 10 Bill of Rights. And given that our founders were willing to fight British for taxing them and gun control, I would ask the teacher that kicked that young man out of class, what flag do you fly under? Because our ancestors were designed and fought for many years against laws, against a government that restricted their speech and resisted their rights to keep and bear arms. That's what the American Revolution was fought for. And so when a, when a, a young man Where's a patch on his backpack with this same symbol, the don't tread on me, the Gadsden flag, and he wears that. He's not a racist, you imbecile, you simplistic little simp, you idiotic, uneducated, lowbrow educator who couldn't form an intellectual argument if your life depended on it. That's nothing to do with racism. That's to do with free speech. Obviously something that your small little mind can't contemplate. So how did the people in the school respond to that? Well, I can tell you that his classmates responded with putting the exact same flag on their lockers, on their clothing, on their backpacks. And just as the flag and the rattlesnake were designed to have American solidarity together, 
so are his classmates showing solidarity with the Gadsden flag. And isn't that ironic? Hundreds and hundreds of years removed, the exact purpose of this flag is being displayed in a public school. Freedom, don't tread on it. If you do, we're not gonna pick the fight. But if you press the fight on us, we're gonna continue it until its very end. And I think that's a very symbolic lesson. I think not only is it symbolic, but it's a practical lesson out there. Because there really is freedom, and there are those that seek to restrict it. And that's literally how the world works, young men and women out there. You're going to have freedom. There's going to be people that try to restrict that freedom. You're going to have rights. There's going to be people that try to take away those rights. And I applaud the young man who wore that patch to school and was told by an undereducated, overly ambitious idiot about what that symbol meant. I guess the student taught, taught the teacher a lesson on this one. If you found the information in the video helpful, subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media, the link is down below. And if you want to learn more about your heritage, whether that's in terms of history, or whether that's in terms of the Second Amendment, come on out to Valoridge and we can help you. This is Reed Hendricks of Valoridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.